Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss a space object orbiting a star that's even hotter than the sun. So what does our default understanding of the universe say? If a space object is revolving around a star, it will be a planet and relatively a cool body, right? This logic is in keeping with things in our solar system as planets revolving around the sun are cooler while the sun blazes with temperatures upwards of 5,000 degrees Celsius. But a recently discovered space object may change your understanding of things. The object is revolving around its star like any other planet would do. But the temperature of this object exceeds that of our sun. Meet the brown dwarf, located 1400 light years away from us. The brown dwarf is an interesting category of space objects. Brown dwarfs straddle the conceptual gap between planets and stars. This particular brown dwarf is revolving around its star in such a close orbit that its surface temperature exceeds 7,000 degrees Celsius. For comparison, the temperature on the surface of the Sun is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. The brown dwarf is in fact a record breaker. It is the hottest object in its category. Brown dwarfs are hotter than planets, but they are cooler than the coolest of red dwarf stars. The particular brown dwarf in question was discovered by an international team led by astrophysicist Naama Halakun from the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel. The team has named the object WD00323177 b. The details about the discovery have been mentioned in a paper accepted in Nature Astronomy as per Science Alert. The team has reportedly said that a study of the brown dwarf will help us understand situations where gas giants like Jupiter are revolving around massive hot stars. A brown dwarf is neither a planet nor a star. And if a brown dwarf has 13 times the mass of Jupiter, it can have enough pressure and temperature to kickstart a deuterium fusion. The deuterium isotope of hydrogen requires less temperature and pressure than the fusion of regular hydrogen. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.